بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از می سمیرا نشاط اینڈ ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس آر سی ایس بی پی ڈی بی وچ از اے اسٹرکچرل ڈیٹا بیس اینڈ وی ول اسٹارٹ وتھ بریف ہسٹری آف دس ڈیٹا بیس اینڈ دین وی ول ڈسکس ہاؤ آر سی ایس بی پی ڈی بی دیر از ریسرچ کولیبریٹری فار اسٹرکچرل بائی انفارمیٹکس پروٹین ڈیٹا بینک کین بی ایکسیسڈ ٹو ریٹریو تھری ڈی اسٹرکچر of protein of interest. So just uh, start with the history of uh, this database. Initially, Protein Data Bank was established in 1971 as first open access digital data resource with seven entries of 3D atomic level structures of protein at Brookhaven National Laboratories, BNL. Then in 1998, the responsibility for this archive was awarded to RCSP PDB, which was headquartered at Rutgers. Then RCSP PDB, located in USA, PDB E in Europe, and PDB J in Japan, came together in 2003 to establish the World Wide Protein Data Bank. Since 2003, the PDB has been managed by the World Wide Protein Data Bank and WWPDB is an international consortium that collaboratively oversees deposition, validation, bio-curation and open access dissemination of 3D macromolecular structure data. Then in 2003, a global NMR data repository, Biological Magnetic Resonance Data Bank, BMRB, which was initially founded in 1989, also joined the World Wide Protein Data Bank organization. So currently, World Wide Protein Data Bank has four members, RCSB PDB, PDBE, PDBJ and BMRB. Each member's site can accept structural data and process the data. Then the processed data is sent to uh, the only archive keeper. Currently, RCSB PDB is acting as archive keeper. To access RCSP PDB, just uh, Google this term and uh, follow the link rcsp.org. It will take you to the main page of this database. The main page uh, usually contains information regarding molecule of the man and uh, the latest entries uh, made in this database, uh, as well as different features and highlights and news related to it. It also uh, has information regarding the total count of uh, Uh, entries in this database like uh, it currently it has 16341 biological macromolecular uh, structures uh, of DNA and proteins uh, studied by different techniques like NMR or crystallography. Let's begin our search uh, with a very well known protein myosin. Myosin as you know uh, is a superfamily of uh, motor proteins and uh, they are involved in muscle contraction and uh, other motility processes. The search result page shows uh, that uh, there are almost uh, 340 structures against this uh, entry and uh, each structure in the database is, uh, say, is uh, identified by a unique identifier uh, which is uh, basically a four letter code including alphabets and number and, uh, and this four letter code is also called as PDB ID. Uh, to uh, be more specific, if you know the PTB ID of your protein, then you can uh, directly uh, search uh, through it. Like uh, here, I'm using 4PD3. And uh, the result shows that 4PD3 is a crystal structure of rigor like human non muscle myosin 2B. And, uh, and this is a list of authors who have published this, this structure. And uh, They have used the method extra diffraction with resolution 2.84 angstrom and uh, this uh, protein belongs to homo sapiens. So uh, to uh, know more details click on its uh, ID 
uh, it will take you to the detailed information regarding this protein. Uh, the information is divided under different tabs like structure summary, 3D view, annotation, sequence, and experiment. The structure summary page contains information uh, regarding uh, the 3D view of the protein, the experimental uh, data snapshot, and and the uh, and the first the original publication where uh, this protein uh, has been uh, reported for the first time and uh, also uh, some of the basic information like uh, the location of different motifs in the sequence and other experimental data and validations if you want to uh, study the sequence of this protein then click on a sequence tab the sequence tab provides not only uh, the alphabetic order of uh, the uh, amino acid in this protein but also the uh, arrangement of secondary structure elements like the uh, this shows that the structure 4 pdb uh, 4 pd3 has in total two chains and uh, these are represented by one sequence unique entity in chain info uh, section it shows that uh, it, uh, its length is 1032 residues and the chain type is polypeptide and the, this is the uniplot KBID of this protein. If you want to study uh, the function or uh, the variations of this protein, uh, you can follow this uh, protein ID. And uh, the se sequence chain view shows arrangement of uh, different amino acid uh, and as well as uh, uh, the formation of different second structure elements like alpha helices and beta sheets formed by these residues. The detailed description of uh, these uh, pictorial elements can be uh, studied uh, with the help of uh, uh, legend which is present in the bottom. If you want to study the plain uh, sequence of uh, this protein, then uh, in structure summary tab, you can follow the link display files. In this under display uh, files tab, just click on FASTA sequence. This is the plain uh, sequence of this protein uh, beginning with a protein ID. Then it has information regarding chains and uh, this is the name of the protein and the organism uh, with which this uh, sequence belongs to. Beginning with the protein. Adnan, what are you doing? एक दफा कर लें जो करना है मैं फिर बाद में आ जाती हूं मैं नीचे से ऊपर आई हूं ऊपर फिर आके आप ठक ठक लगे हां उंज थोड़ा देर नहीं लगता मेरे बगैर हो तो मुझे चाहिए ही क्या ओके बिगनिंग विद दिस इज द प्लेन सीक्वेंस ऑफ दिस प्रोटीन प्रोटीन एंड this is the plain sequence of this protein beginning uh, with a protein ID uh, chain information having the name of the uh, protein uh, and this organism uh, from which this uh, sequ sequence. This is the alphabetical arrangement of uh, amino acid uh, beginning with the N terminus and ending at uh, C terminus. If you want to uh, study the, the uh, 3D view of this protein, uh, click on 3D view tab. And uh, 3D view tabs provide you different controls uh, with which you can play with this protein. This view contains not only the sequence of this protein, but also the 3D structure. And uh, by using the available controls, you can play with the 3D structure of this protein. Under annotation tab, different annotation details of this protein are available like a protein family annotation and the gene product annotation. And under experimental experiment tab, different experimental details are available. And if you want to download the 3D structure of this protein, then click uh, on tab download files here you can see that uh, the structure is available uh, in different formats like you can download the fasta sequence 
You can download the 3D structure of this protein in PDB format, PDBX, MM, CIF format, as well as PDB ML or XML format. The most uh, frequently used format is PDB format. So just clicking on it, uh, it will download your required uh, file. You can save it at your desired location. This PDB file uh, needs a special visualizer uh, to view its content. And you can also open this file in WordPad or Notepad uh, to view its uh, contents. We will this is uh, the PDB format of this file having information regarding the experiment or the protein in this file. We will uh, cover this format in our next lecture. Thank you.